The next objects we are going to focus on are the warehouse tasks and the warehouse orders. If you watched our essentials course, you already know what warehouse tasks and warehouse orders are and how they interact with each other. Now to take it one step further, we are going to have a look behind the scenes and find out how these objects are integrated on database level. If you already have some experience in older SAP warehouse management systems, you will have to get used to that the combination of LTUC and LTUP does not exist in such a combination anymore. So we kindly ask you not to try and translate the behavior of the WM systems into the EWM systems, because the extended warehouse management does things differently. In this episode, we are going to focus on four different EWM tables that handle the information of warehouse tasks and warehouse orders. As we already told you in the first episode, when we were showing you the handling unit tables, there are of course more tables with information concerning the tasks and orders. But as always, we are focused on the most important ones. So let us have a look. We are going to start with the warehouse tasks first. The first table is obviously the database table for open warehouse tasks. This table holds all information of an open warehouse task. Since EWM behaves differently than older warehouse management systems, the tasks are separated into different tables, whether they are open or confirmed and do not have one single status in one specific table. So we are talking about open warehouse tasks first. The key of the open warehouse task table, besides the warehouse number of course, is the warehouse task number. This number acts as a unique identifier for all movements and changes in the warehouse. As you already know, there are two kinds of warehouse tasks product-based warehouse tasks and HU-based warehouse tasks. So we also need a database field for that information. And of course the information about the warehouse process type and transportation type are stored in the open warehouse task table. These fields describe what kind of process the warehouse task is assigned to. This could for example be a put-away process or a picking process. Other important fields contain the source and destination data of a warehouse task. In case of an HU movement, this could be the source bin the handling unit currently stands on and the destination storage bin the HU should be relocated to. In case we have a picking warehouse task, the task is of course assigned to an outbound delivery order. Therefore, the database also contains fields for the header and item ID of the outbound delivery order. And that is basically the most important information being stored in the open warehouse task table. Now, since this is a database training course, let us check out everything about the warehouse tasks and orders in the EWM system. We of course have to create an open warehouse task first. For this example, we are going to create a plain and simple handling unit warehouse task. In order to do that, we go to the EWM system and start the transaction for ad hoc handling unit movements. We insert a handling unit number we want to create a warehouse task for and execute the selection. The EWM now shows us the handling unit header and where the handling unit is posted in the system. We now select the handling unit and type in the bin where the open warehouse task shall point to. We confirm the open warehouse task creation with the create and save button. The EWM now confirms that the warehouse task creation was successfully done. Since we now have an open warehouse task, we can finally go to the SE16 and type in the table name we want to select the data from. 
we copy our warehouse task number in the corresponding input field and execute the selection. And here we go. Our open warehouse task. The first thing you are going to notice is something funny. Because the database field for the warehouse task number is called TANUM, which basically was introduced in SAP WM systems and maybe some WM developers were involved when the new EWM systems were set up. But nevertheless, this field contains the warehouse task number. The next important field we are going to have a look at is the warehouse process type field. This process type basically shows us in which process our task is operating. SAP standard customizing, for example, uses the warehouse process type 1010 for goods received postings and the 2010 for picking warehouse tasks. Warehouse process type 4 times 9 is normally used by the warehouse control center to move stuff around in the warehouse. The other important information on database level are basically the source and destination data of a warehouse task.